Hey guys, welcome to a new challenge. 15, I'm not sure how to do that exactly, but anyways, $15. That is what we can spend every week for Stock It September in 2024. And what we're gonna be doing is stocking the pantry with those items that we use over the winter time to really kind of see us through. Hopefully we can find a great deal every week to stock that pantry. And at the end of each video, we're gonna show you just how we use those items in our day-to-day -day cooking. Uh, that is the big thing for us on this challenge is stocking up those items that we use all the time over and over and over. And they might even be items that we've already stocked, but it doesn't hurt to have too much, right? Right? I know. So. Big shout out to Lynn over at Bucket List Homestead. Definitely go check her out. I'll put a link to her channel in the description below. I will try and put it up here too, but I'm really terrible at remembering to do those. And she will have a playlist of everybody doing this collaboration. And if you're interested in doing this collaboration, definitely just make a video. Hashtag stock it September. So I suppose that's a little bit of me rambling on at the beginning, but what you really want to know is what I bought this week, right? I know. It's gonna be a weird one. A lot of people are gonna go, why? But bear with me, here we go. In this bag, I have a lot of jars. I went to Food Basics today. They had, uh, it wasn't even a sale. It was just a lockdown price, 98 cents a can. And I'm gonna get them out here and show you what I got. So are you excited yet? Are you full of anticipation of what I got at Food Basics today? Get ready. You ready? Oh, oh, I was trying to get it perfect. Water chestnuts and bamboo shoots. As many of you know, we do a lot of Asian kind of cooking and curries and things like that. So these are items that we can't grow here really. So it is something that we do stockpile. And 98 cents of food basics is a great deal for those. Now I will say that they have in the past gone down to 67 cents but I think those days may have come and gone. So 98 cents is a pretty good deal. Locked down at that price, I can tell you we'll be going back, but I'm not going to do the same thing every week for stock in September. So that was our find. We ended up getting 15 jars at 98 cents each. So that is $14 and 70 cents. It's perfect, absolutely wonderful. I would probably say we would do the same again and that would give us enough for the whole winter no problem at all. But the real thing we're going to be showing you here is how we're going to use it tonight for dinner. So I have my wok all ready to go, my ingredients all ready to go. We're going to just talk as we go here and put it all in the pot and make an awesome egg fried rice. Egg fried rice is something that is so great around here. It goes excellent with chicken, lamb, so many different things. Today we're actually going to be putting rabbit on top of it after and you can add however you see fit. Now, first thing we're going to start off with, of course, is heating up our wok. We're going to get a little bit of butter or olive oil, whichever you want in there, and we're going to fry off our eggs and then set them aside. Now this recipe would be two to three uh, regular size eggs. I'm going to use four silky eggs and uh, we're going to cook them off, kind of scramble them and then set them aside. But while the wok is heating up, we're going to actually get our rice going. And I love my Pampered Chef rice cooker. Uh, it goes in the microwave, it is beautiful, and it cooks to perfection pretty much every time. So here we go. We're going to get our brown rice into um, some chicken broth. Now this would not be vegetarian, of course, because I'm using chicken broth, but you could just use water or you could use a vegetable broth if you happen to have that. So we're going to do one cup of rice with two cups of water. Now that is more than a portion of rice. So hopefully this is going to result in some leftovers for lunch tomorrow because I am really trying to control those portions of carbohydrate type items. And uh, the brown rice certainly is better than the white rice, but I still have to watch how much of it I'm consuming. So I'm going to get that into the microwave. It takes 10 minutes in the microwave, but it's perfect all the time. And then we're going to come back, get our eggs in the wok, and see how we do. Now I'm actually going to conserve a little bit of this uh, chicken broth here for in my um, sauce of my egg fried rice. Again, like I say, you can also opt to use a vegetable broth or just a little bit of water if you even need it, or extra soy sauce. I just happen to have a little bit of extra broth and that's what we're going to put in. Now as you can see here, if you've got that uh, wok hot, it doesn't take long. 
for these eggs to cook up. I just want to break them up enough that they'll mix into my rice well. And now I think they're just about ready. We can set them aside. And there we go. That's step one. It doesn't have to be perfectly cleaned out because you're just going to put it back in later. Yum. Homegrown eggs. So from this point on, really, this recipe is quite flexible. I have chosen vegetables that I have available right now from the gardens or things that need to be used up. But in general, I try and do one onion, some carrots, peas, and uh, maybe a little bit of pepper or things like that. A couple cups worth of vegetables is what I usually put into my rice. As many of you know, we don't want to be bulking it out with too much rice for us. So bulking it out with vegetables is a far better option for us. So today we're actually going to use up some broccoli because I needed to get it out of the fridge and we had wonderful noodle beans that we picked again and just so you know we put like two more bags of them into the freezer so that's pretty good. So we're going to have noodle beans and broccoli instead of the carrots because carrots are something I need to buy and why buy them when I have stuff out of the garden that I can use. Otherwise most of the ingredients are the same. We're going to be a cup of peas, one onion and uh, I've got a cup of peppers. So let's get them in the wok, start stir frying them up, and then we will add our egg back in and our chicken, which is actually rabbit, and uh, get it all cooked up, and then we will add our sauce. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important part to add, the water chestnuts, <laughs> which is what this whole video was about. <laughs> Anyways, now I'm going to start putting things in the pot. All right, so here we go with our ingredients in the wok. I put a little bit more olive oil just because that egg absorbed up quite a bit. And then it's our one onion all chopped up. I better get a spoon. I always like to cook my onions off just that little bit at the beginning, kind of to the point that they're almost that translucent color. I find if I add too much vegetables in, you end up with ones that are like not cooked nicely. I don't know how else to explain that exactly. But these are looking like they're getting pretty darn close now. So I think the next thing we're going to do is put in our beans. If I was doing carrots, I would put them in at this point. But I'm not doing carrots, so beans it is. And then our peppers. I kind of put them in order of what cooks the fastest or, or the slowest, I guess I should say. Put the fastest ones last, not first. Got it? So someone had recently asked in uh, the comments how we cook our noodle beans or what we use them for. And this is exactly what we use them for. That's why we chop them up in the freezer in those nice little kind of one inch pieces. And then we can just grab handfuls as we need. Stir fries, curries, all those sorts of things are mostly what we do with them. Occasionally I'll take them out and I will just put them in um, the, you know, my microwave cooker and steam them for a bit and then just put butter and garlic powder with salt on them and they're very very nice that way as a side dish for a roast or something like that but for the most part this is how we consume them stir fries yum i guess this isn't a stir fry this is egg fried rice but it's basically the same as a stir fry it just has eggs and rice all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our can of water chestnuts which i've already done ahead and I'm going to actually just slice them a little bit. This is a little bit more water chestnut than I like to bite into at a time. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to slice them up. And then we're going to put them into our wok at the same time as our peppers. So I'm going to quickly chop this up and then we'll get them in. So now at this point, I'm going to uh, put my four cloves of garlic in. I'm going to put them through the thingy to crush them and get them in here. And then basically I'm going to put in our meat, our broccoli and our peas. And we're going to start on the sauce. All right, so we've put our lid onto the wok. We're gonna let that steam and get nice and warm in there. And in the meantime, in our one cupper, we're gonna mix up our sauce mixture. Now, this is my own kind of version. You do you, but I'm just gonna give you a guideline on uh, of how I make it and you can tweak it however works for you. We find this very tasty. What you're going to need, soy sauce, oyster sauce and the one thing I would say about oyster sauce is always make sure you check your labels because oyster sauce is not all created equal and if you happen to be somewhere where you can buy the blue dragon type it is in our opinion the best one out there it has well no MSG number one and a few other ingredients that are in others are not in this one so we like as I whack myself 
guys. <laughs> we like this one for our, uh, um, we like this one for our chow mein or egg fried rice or things like that. So definitely keep your eye out. I always watch for when this one's on sale and stock it up. And I'll be honest with you, it hasn't been on sale in probably two years. So I guess I'm going to have to bite the bullet and uh, just buy it at the top price. So oyster sauce, sesame oil, salt and pepper. Basically, that's it. I'm just double checking my uh, instructions here, but yeah, that's it. So, <laughs> interestingly enough, the camera wasn't rolling. I did not have two tablespoons in this container. I didn't even have one tablespoon in this container. So, I was a little bit nervous because I didn't check my supplies before I started. But this is one of those times where it really pays to have stuff in the pantry that you're not really sure what's still there. Because, dun, 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 I had another one. Phew, lucky, I tell you. So we're going to get another tablespoon out of this guy and get it mixed into the soy sauce. All right, so let's get back to business. That's what I had so far. So there's one. two and I will get some liquid into this jar to clean it out and then we need two teaspoons of sesame oil half a teaspoon of black pepper and for salt if you were using low sodium soy sauce you might put a little bit more but I'm going with a quarter teaspoon and then we're just going to mix it up and pour it on top so you can see I've kind of made a little hole in the middle here. I'm just going to put about a tablespoon of butter right in there. And then we're going to right away put our rice in right into that little hole. You can hear it kind of sizzle. You want that rice to get a little crispy. That's the idea of egg fried rice. It's going to kind of stick to the bottom a little bit. That's what you want. And you can hear that kind of going in there. We're now going to add our sauce. I usually don't pour it right on the rice. I pour it around the outside and then it kind of all seeps down in. Still gonna let that cook off a little bit in the middle. Add our egg. And then basically, we're just going to mix it all up. It looks so pretty. All right, so we are sizzling away. I'm just going to give it a little try to make sure that it's got enough flavor and moisture. Let's see here. It's going to be really hot. Mm. Yep. It is good. It's very good. I might not even add the rest of that chicken broth, to be honest. We'll save that for another project. But I'm going to let this kind of cook off for a little bit longer just to crisp up that rice. Give it one more turn. Let it cook again. And then we're going to eat. All right, so I'm totally contradicting myself, but I forgot that I was going to rinse out that jar. So I just put a little bit of that broth in there, and I'm just going to pour it on. I might have to cook it off for another second just to uh, get that moisture to kind of dry up but at least I didn't waste any of that wonderful oyster sauce now one thing I will say about this is you could choose to do this as a side dish just don't put the chicken in do it as an egg fried rice maybe you're having Chinese food and you're going to have uh, chicken balls with it or or you know uh, spare ribs I don't know <laughs> we are just this is a classic meal for us we do this sort of thing probably five nights a week a whole bunch bunged into a pot and it comes out tasting mwah, amazing. So hope you enjoyed this video for our first stock at September. This is how we use those water chestnuts or bamboo shoots. I only use the water chestnuts this time, but usually it's one or the other depending on what I'm making. So give it a try. 
Don't forget, make sure you get yourself to Food Basics to stock up because I was actually very, very pleasantly surprised today. There was a lot of things locked down at very reasonable prices. So hopefully that means coming into the winter months when things are a little bit leaner, we won't have to go shopping.